Are you having issues with IQ5? We all know it's not really the most perfect software out there. Some of you guys I've seen complained about the ongoing issues that Corsair has. Well, this is Chris Mizo, and I'm gonna try to guide you and help you out to see exactly what type of problems we can resolve for your PC, especially if you need to use Corsair's IQ. First, you wanna to go to Corsair IQ's website. If you notice up here on the top of the address, it leads right to the US website. Now, one of the complaints that I've seen from one of the viewers out here was that the it gets stuck on the language page. Well, on this current PC build that I have, on this Threadripper build, I do not have IQ installed, and it is on the US website. If I click Download IQ, if I'm gonna download the 5.6 version, make sure you download that version for your OS, which is mine's is gonna be Windows. So you don't have to sign up for the email, you can just skip that step and it should download, open, and click yes. Now this part's important to know because as you see, it says English, American, English. Some people will have issues where they can't click next to be able to continue to install IQ. Well, there is a way to resolve that. Make sure you pay attention to the top of the URL that you are in when you do install IQ. That's very important, otherwise it will not continue. For example, I go English and American English. Now say for some reason your PC still refuses to continue, you wanna make sure you follow these following steps in order to do so. You go down to the search bar, you're gonna see region settings, you're gonna click that, and when you enter region settings, you wanna to go to country or region, and you see where mine says United States. Now, if you're from another country, you do wanna switch it to the country of your choice, and of course, your Windows display language, you wanna make sure everything is correct. So make sure to put United States as if you're from the United States. If you are from Vatican City, you wanna make sure you're put from Vatican City. So you wanna make sure that your PC is correct and the settings are correct when it comes to the region so that way you can continue to install. If you do everything correctly, it should allow you to proceed to the next step. Now say you're still running into an issue to where even if you changed out your region settings or your language, that IQ still refuses to install. It's still frozen and that you're unable to continue forward. Or maybe you're even offline and you can't continue installing IQ because of that reason. Don't worry, there is a workaround for it. But in order to do so, you have to go down, go down to the search box, type CMD, right click it and run as administrator. Click yes. And then once you get to the screen here, you have to click type in CD for the directory of where your file is. For example, IQ is in my downloads folder here, and make sure you navigate to where your setup is to make it easier. So go up here, and you're just gonna copy that address. You can right click it to copy it, or you can press Control C, paste it, and click Enter. Now, you'll notice that it will go to that directory now, and once you do, you're gonna type in a command to actually install IQ without the actual setup box. And I'll show you exactly how you can do it. So first things first, you wanna make sure you copy this. Press F2 on your keyboard. You're gonna right click it and click copy. And now we can continue. Just go back to the command prompt. So all you have to do is type in msi exec.exe forward slash i paste install iq.exe forward slash qn. Now you'll see a box come up just like this. And what it will do is it will actually install IQ for you or Windows will kind of force install it into your PC. So click OK. And then once you do, it's gonna install it into the background and give it a good minute or so. And after that minute, you want to, in order to confirm that it is installed into your, your PC, 
you're gonna go down to the micros the windows button down here right click it and then you're gonna go to installed apps and then you should be able to see Corsair IQ installed into your PC. So once it is installed into your PC, just make sure you restart, which we will do now. Now we're back into our PC now. And it looks like we have IQ into our PC. Now what other type of issues could happen when you have IQ? Well, there's plenty of other type of issues you could run into. Maybe your keyboard's not showing up like it should. Maybe your lighting node core is not correct. And there are a couple ways to fix these issues. The first issue, which I can recommend here, is you want to go to this settings cog up here. And the big issue is sometimes the firmware is out of date. So you want to go to firmware updates and you want to check updates for each device that you have on your desktop. Lucky for me, they're all good to go. As you see, they are the latest version, but this is also a big cause when it comes to hardware incompatibility. Now, if your Corsair device doesn't show at all, make sure that your device is plugged in properly. Now, I know if you have a keyboard, you'll really know if it's plugged in properly because you'll be able to type. But what I would recommend to do is to reinstall that driver. What you will do is just unplug your keyboard, simply just unplug it, the USB, and then replug it in after about three minutes or so. And then once you do, it should reinstall the drivers and your keyboard should pop up, not right away. It's gonna take probably about a couple minutes or so for your keyboard to show up. Now, if it's your lighting node cores or say if it's your RAM, just make sure it is seated properly. And when it comes to the lighting node core or the pro, you wanna make sure that the USB is properly seated as well. Sometimes if you are using a USB splitter, it will, Corsair device will confuse itself when you are sharing a USB splitter when plugging it to your motherboard. So try to plug it separately as some of these devices require two USB ports in order for the device to power on or for uh, the device recognition. Another way in order to fix any of the product issues, if you're still having issues for your products such as your keyboard or your lightning nodes or your memory, you wanna go down to right click the windows button click installed apps and this is actually a overlooked solution and all you have to do is hit the three dots hit modify and then click yes and when you do it's going to repair iq and once it repairs iq you should see the your devices then if you don't just restart your pc and more than likely your issues should be resolved. Let's go back into another issue that could possibly happen. Instead, you get a problem that says failed to install required modules due to some error. And here is uh, the issue how you can fix that. So the first step is you're gonna obviously want to have IQ5 installed. Next, you will go into the MS config utility. So type MS C-O-N-F-I-G and it will say system configuration open that up and then once you do you will go to the services side you will sort the manufacturer side and you see how i got all these corsair manufacturers listed and how it has the listing service has stopped or running running you want to make sure you disable all your corsair devices on your pc that's right Disable all your Corsair devices on your PC. Right after you can, uh, disable your Corsair devices, you will go down to the task manager. You're gonna right click the Windows button down here, go to task manager, just go to the startup side, go to IQ, and then you're gonna right click it and click disable. And then once you do that, you should be, uh, you should restart your PC because you shouldn't have any Corsair items pop up then. Once you restart your PC, go into your folder and go to downloads and install IQ. From there, you shouldn't have an issue running it. It should be able to install IQ smoothly. Now, another thing I stress about, and I've got to mention, 
I see a lot of people complain when they install IQ that they lose everything that they have had. And I stress about this because it's very common. A lot of people overlook this when it comes to IQ. Now, when you update to a completely new version, it's going to come it's going to forget about everything that you programmed into your Corsair. So in order to do so, and before you upgrade to IQ5, say you're an IQ3 or IQ4, you want to be able to make sure to save all your settings. All you have to do is click your file right here and just hit the menu button, the three dots and export your profile. Once you do that, you will be able to transfer everything that you programmed into IQ to the new version flawlessly. So please do that because otherwise you will run into a problem where you forget everything that Corsair has installed. Now, another common issue is this is a ASUS motherboard. How come my ASUS plugins are not popping up. You're going to have to install Armory Crate in order for you to be able to have your ASUS products show up, such as your motherboard, your GPU, whichever ASUS products that you have to show up inside of IQ. Now, it is not the perfect program. They do not work perfectly in sync all the time, but it can work together. But after you install ASUS Armory Crate, you don't want to run them at the same time. Do not run IQ and ASUS Armory Crate at the same time, only run IQ. It will still pick up on ASUS's products. Now, if you need a guide on how to do so, I have the card right above here in order to install ASUS Armory Crate with IQ. Hopefully, this has helped out your issues with IQ5. Of course, if you have any questions at all about IQ5, please share it down in the comments down below. And also, if you know anybody else who is in, having trouble installing IQ5, please share this video with them. And also, if you're not part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And also, make sure you follow my X handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well for all the latest updates. Fan band, guys, what are your thoughts of IQ5? Are you enjoying it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Miso, signing out.